Here's a look at the Big 12 preseason rankings as voted on by members of the media. Kansas checks in at number 10. Charlie Weiss takes over as the Jayhawks coach and faces a challenging rebuilding job. Quarterback Dane Crist, a senior with one year of eligibility, transferred from Notre Dame and gives the Jayhawks a dangerous passer and leadership. Kansas was last in the nation in defense last season and needs to make big strides on that side of the ball. Texas Tech, coming off its first losing season since 1990, is number nine. The Red Raiders should have a solid offense led by senior quarterback Seth Dagey. The key to improvement and moving up in the standings will be a stronger defense. Art Kaufman is the school's fourth defensive coordinator in the last four seasons. Iowa State is at number eight. The Cyclones recorded a notable upset last season when they shocked Oklahoma State and went on to their second bowl in three seasons under coach Paul Rhodes. The defense should again be stingy as Iowa State has the best linebacker duo in the Big 12 in A.J. Klein and Jake Knott. Baylor faces life without Heisman Trophy winner Robert Griffin III and is pegged to finish seventh. Senior Nick Florence, who has experience as a starter, takes over at quarterback for RG3. The Bears also have to replace their leading rusher and receiver from last season. The defense has added speed and depth and should show improvement. Last season, Kansas State was picked to finish eighth, but wound up in second. This year, the Wildcats are predicted to finish sixth. Senior Colin Klein had a remarkable 2011 season at quarterback and could become a Heisman candidate if his passing improves to match his running ability. Linebacker Arthur Brown, a first-team All-Big 12 selection last season, anchors the defense. TCU joins the Big 12 this season, and the Horn Frogs are picked to finish fifth. They won the Mountain West Conference title last season. Junior quarterback Casey Paulhall runs an offense that features a number of explosive playmakers. Last season, the defense took a dip from previous levels, but this year features standout defensive end Stansley Mapongo. Oklahoma State won its first Big 12 championship last season and this year is predicted to finish fourth. The Cowboys must replace the record-setting pass-catch duo of quarterback Brandon Wheaton and receiver Justin Blackman. Junior Joseph Randall is a productive and reliable running back. The defense led the nation in turnovers last season and features outstanding linebackers and defensive backs. Texas is picked to finish third. Sophomore David Ash is expected to be the starting quarterback after starting several games last season. Texas is loaded with talented running backs, and the offense figures to concentrate on the ground game. The defense could be one of the nation's best. The secondary is outstanding, while Alex Okafor and Jackson Jeffcoat are two of the best defensive ends in the Big 12. West Virginia is picked to finish second in its first season as a member of the Big 12. The Mountaineers were co-champions of the Big East last season and return a number of productive players on offense, led by senior quarterback Geno Smith. Coach Dana Holgerson, a former offensive coordinator at Texas Tech and Oklahoma State, is going into his second season as West Virginia's coach. Oklahoma has been chosen to win its eighth Big 12 championship. The Sooners received 32 of 41 first place votes to top the preseason poll. Oklahoma senior quarterback Landry Jones holds 13 school passing records and led the Sooners to the 2010 Big 12 title. A defense that had some issues last season hopes to regain its swagger under new defensive coordinator Mike Stoops, the brother of the OU head coach. For the Big 12 Digital Network, I'm Wendell Barnhouse.